Hey ladies, welcome to another Q&A video. And today we have several questions. And I just wanna tell you guys, one, I'm very thankful that you send these questions in. And two, I'm really sorry that it's taking me a minute to answer these. I really meant to have this video as something I did once a week and it's really turned into something that I am doing about once a month. So if you submitted a question, hopefully it's in here if you haven't gotten it answered yet. And there's some really fun questions in this, so I hope you will participate and just kind of give your own opinions. And if there is a solution that you have found for some of these, please also let us know. But what happens if you're new around here is people will submit questions by putting Q and A colon in front of their question on my channel. So I can search for that and know that you want it to appear in this video. And so you'll get it answered live and it will help well, I guess not live, it's recorded, but this will actually help a lot of other people too. So um, I really love this and I hope you do too. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also please participate. So our first question comes from Brenda and she says, hi, Jamie, I'm not sure if you covered this topic before, but I hear lots of people say not to wear capris. It makes your legs look shorter and cuts you off at the widest part of your legs. What are your thoughts? Do you wear them? If so, how is the best way to wear them? If capris make your legs look shorter, then don't shorts make your legs look even shorter? Or should we just wear them and say, who cares? Or maybe capris that stop at the knees are better. Or should we all just throw out our capris? What to do? And so I have never addressed this on my channel. And I know a lot of people make videos about things that make you look old and other things that are outdated. And it seems like capris always end up in those videos. And I don't always take that approach because I know capris are not in style. So that is my first thought is they're not super stylish. They're not something that you just want to run out and buy. But there are people that want to have other options other than shorts or long pants and ankle pants are somewhat long pants as well. So a lot of people opt for capris and not all capris are created equal. So if you find some cute capris and they look good on you and they don't cut your leg off in a weird spot and you can style them properly, I don't see anything wrong with that. So there are certain styles that I think are really, really outdated, but then there are some like crop style pants that are capri type pants that you could actually wear. Like if you got a cropped wide leg or a cropped um, what is it, a kick flare, something that flared out, things like that could be a better option than a capri pant that's called a capri pant, and it kind of mimics that shorter look. So there are options that you can do that are a little bit more updated, but I do have to say that if you're somebody that loves capris and you want to wear them, then I say wear them. So there are a lot of things that we don't wear because people tell us not to. And, uh, you know, I don't always take that approach because you can make almost anything look good if you style it right, I think. And so capris are one of those things that's personal opinion. And I'm not going to tell you to get rid of them unless you want to get rid of them. If you want a more updated look, try a cropped wide leg or a cropped kick flare or something like that, as opposed to a capri pant. Um, and so I would love feedback that any of you, I know everybody has an opinion on this, so please let us know what you think in the comments below. Oh, and I didn't mention, I do not personally wear them. I don't really wear cropped pants either. I like ankle length or longer. For some reason, I just don't feel that great in cropped pants. Now I do have a kick flare that is, it's not totally cropped, so it doesn't come up to mid calf on me, but it is a little bit shorter and it's a kick flare and I've enjoyed that. So I do wear those um, to answer that question for you. The next question is from Alessandra. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not, but she asked what scarves are in style for 2022-23 winter. And you know what? Um, there are a few different styles and the first one I'm going to talk about a lot of people don't like and it's the scarf tie. It's not actually a neck tie, but it's a longer kind of rectangular tie that you can either tie in a knot or a bow or you can wear it flat, you know, just not tied or anything, just hanging down with a blazer or a top. And 
They're actually really cute. So that is the biggest trend for this season in scarves and also neckties. So that's a big trend and I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but I really love it. Now, the other scarves that are in are just your bandana scarves that you can tie around your neck, either close to the neck or you can tie it around so it looks more like a necklace and you can do a lot of things with it. You can put it in your hair. So that's really big. And that has been something that has been trending for a while. Now you're also going to see your warm weather scarves, which is something that I don't think has to be on trend. I just, I think it's there because we want that with our coats and when it gets really cold. So if you, you know, want to buy a really cozy scarf, like faux fur is really big, shearling's really big this season, lots of textures. There will be some fun longer scarves out there too that you can wear with your coats and things. But as far as like with fashion and outfits, I would go with either the bandana scarf, silk scarf, or I would go with the, uh, tie neck scarf because I think they're really cool. Question number three came from Miriam and she said, I'm five foot three in rectangle shape. I bought some wide leg jeans that are way too long, so I'll be hemming them. I'm wondering the ideal length. Would it be right above the ankle like your natural colored pair? And this is from, she put this on a video that was a cropped wide leg video and I had a pair of natural color. They were like a tan color wide leg pant and they came a little above my ankle. And I also had a pair of brown ones on that were shorter. And I really liked the natural pair, how uh, the length was on those. So my question is, do you want them cropped or ankle length or do you want them full length? It sounds like they might be a full length pair. And so, all I have to say is when you go to have them hemmed, take the shoes you're going to wear, wear a top that you would be wearing with them and just have the alteration person pin them up where you think you might want them. So try them at a shorter length, you know, more of an ankle or a cropped. Um, usually with a cropped, uh, you know, I think those natural ones were an inch or two above my ankle as opposed to right in the middle of my calf. And so I would just see where you like them and then try them full length. If I have a full length, I would want a half an inch to an inch from the ground. And so I would have the pro appropriate shoes that I would wear with them and that will help you decide. We always had people come into our alterations department. I actually managed an alterations department for years and we would have people come in and they wouldn't bring their shoes. They wouldn't have the right top. Like it's really hard to envision that. And Really, there's not a very specific thing, a specific measurement that you have to do. It's a lot of it's personal preference, how tall you are, what you like and what you want in that style. So definitely take them with you and just see what you like. And I would recommend doing them full length. So from the floor, because it sounds like they're supposed to be full length. I actually personally like that better than a cropped length. But if you want the cropped length, then yes, I would do it closer to where the natural colored pair are in that video. So question number four comes from Chris and she said, I'm 5'5 five five with a long apple shaped torso. I also have chronic pain, so I can't wear any sort of heel in a hard sole shoe. I can only wear shoes like Skechers. How can I do these styles with only casual, flat, comfy sole shoe? It's very frustrating. Also, I'm a dog sitter, so I don't really go to many places where I have to dress up. And so this was on, I looked up the video this was on and it was on my common style mistakes video. And a lot of the styles in there, like the flare legs, some of the things had heels. And so I do think that you can find comfort boots. And I don't know if Skechers makes a boot or not, but if you could find a comfort ankle boot, something like that, that didn't always look like a sneaker, then you could definitely do those styles. With any of the longer, like any of the flare legs and things like that, you can always hem them for a shorter, a more casual shoe. And I think that would work just fine. I know a lot of people that have had foot problems and it causes them to only be able to wear specific shoes. So maybe just try to find another comfort brand like Skechers, which Skechers to me is not, they're not a comfort brand. Maybe they do some comfort things, but I know there are better brands out there. And so, I will put some in the um, description and anybody that um, has a recommendation of more casual low heeled shoes that maybe Chris could do with some of the different styles that are out there, um, please let us know what that is. And I will think of some and put them 
in the description for you too, Chris. So definitely check there for um, some options for you. So I really love this next question and it comes from Heather and she said, so rumor has it that camo pants are out. Say it isn't so. And I have to agree there. Now camo as a print and camo pants are just not trending right now. I think camo goes in cycles just like your animal print. And so with a lot of the styles that are going on right now, I just don't think the camo fits in very well. So definitely if you don't wanna wear them when they're not popular, then just hang on to them because they will come back in style. But in saying that, if you love camo and you love your camo pants, wear them. I actually think the cargo pants that I used in my styling video on cargo pants, they were an ivory color. I actually think those came in a camo print. I'm going to double check that. And if they do, I'll put an image here. But you know, it's one of those things that if you love something, just wear it. I don't think it really matters, but it's definitely one of those things that's not in right now. So those are all I have for you today. Please put your comments below on any feedback you have on any of those questions. And I hope I answered those well for you guys. And if you guys want a video on hemming your pants and jeans, let me know. I'd love to do it. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please put Q&A colon in front of them if you want me to talk about them in the video. And it will be, you know, another couple of weeks until I get that one up. So it gives you time if you want to submit a question. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.